So in this problem, they're asking us to find the appropriate critical value, z alpha divided by 2 or t alpha divided by 2, for the following problems. So when you look at example 40, you see the sample size is 35. Once you notice the sample size is 35, you notice that it's over 30. And if we're using that simplified rule that says whenever the sample size is greater than 30, we can use z alpha divided by 2 as our critical value. So because of that, I'm simply going to go to the t table, actually. And I'm going to look up um, the appropriate alpha value in order to figure out the z alpha divided by 2 value when the confidence level is 98%. So let's just quickly do that here. So remember that when you're working with the z alpha divided by 2 value, what you want to do first is just simply say, OK, z alpha divided by 2 is what we need. So in this case, if the confidence level is 98%, it leads to the idea that the alpha has to be just 2%. And if the alpha is 2%, then we can know that alpha divided by 2 is only 1%. Now, 1% as a decimal is 0.01. So this alpha divided by 2 value is 0.01. So the z value we're looking for then is z.01. Now, with that in mind, what we're going to go to do in the table then is go to the t table, look at the 0.01 column, if it exists, and it does. We're going to go there, look at that value, go straight to the bottom and get the critical value that we need. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here's our t table, and we're looking for area of 0.01 in one tail, and we're just going to scroll down in this column all the way to the bottom where we see that magic number 2.326. And so that is the number we are looking for, 2.326. And this problem is just that easy, actually. So 2.326.